Here is a Lionel F3 decorated for Amtrak from the MPC era, and I think it was offered in their catalogs from the early to mid 1970s. It's not as iconic as a Santa Fe war bonnet paint scheme, but I've always liked passenger trains, and Amtrak was a big deal when it first started. So I thought for this video I would compare the Lionel F3 to the Williams version of an Amtrak F7. This listing is kind of interesting. It has the original boxes, it has a powered unit, a dummy unit, and also a matching B unit, which is hard to find by itself. But to me, it's still a little bit pricey. The items you see here and their prices were found on eBay in January of 2022. If you were trying to put together your own matching set of Amtrak F3s, you might spend about 200 bucks for a motorized and a dummy unit. Or maybe you have an extra Lionel F3 frame laying around. You could pick up a shell for 20 bucks and put something together on your own. Prices for a Williams F7 are a little bit cheaper, but not by much. These early models had graphics that were decals. Both the lettering and that arrow on the side were decals. Later models would switch over to painted graphics, and I like those much better. But as long as the decals are in good shape, you could invest $150 and have a dummy and a motorized F7. The Williams F7s have been around long enough for them to offer two variations of the Amtrak graphics. This is the Phase 3 paint scheme. I'm lucky enough to own examples of both the Williams and the Lionel locomotives. So in this video, I want to take a look at some of their differences and also what they have in common. Despite how they look in this photo, both engines are just about the same length. The Williams F7 is maybe a half of an inch longer, mainly because of its couplers. The Lionel F3 is at least 20 years older, and the paint used on this model is a little bit less shiny than the Williams F7. The paint quality for both of these is pretty high, and the main difference seems to be the glossier finish on the Williams F7. Underneath the shells, the Williams has twin can motors powering both trucks. The Lionel makes do with a larger AC motor that is just powering the rear truck. For handling forward, neutral, and reverse, the Lionel F3 has an E unit, an electronic reversing unit. To change directions in a Williams F7, they've installed an electronic reversing board between the two can motors. While the Lionel F3 has only a single motor, both of these units have dual pickup rollers. Lionel chose to put two of them on their front truck, and Williams chose to place one roller at each end. The Williams F7 is about a quarter of an inch taller and maybe an eighth of an inch wider than Lionel's F3, but those size differences would hardly be noticeable if these were together on your track or maybe on your shelf. So which one of these should you get? Well, before the video, I would have been really pushing the Williams F7. I bought mine new about 30 years ago. It's been run a lot. It's held up really well. It's been reliable, and the paint still looks like new. And then I found an ad on eBay for a set of F3s with their original boxes in near mint condition. The price was really good, so I scooped them up. And now I think I would recommend the original over the reproduction. If you like Amtrak, I think you would be very happy with either the Lionel F3 or the Williams F7. It just comes down to your own personal preference. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and until next time, this has been Bob's Workshop. Take care.